Ah, there we go. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Wine Monk Let's Play as Attila, where we'll kill everything. Um, I now have wine. Um, right now, I am drinking um, what's left of my bottle of the Epilogue from LDV, or Lawrence Dunham Winery. 100% Arizona fruit from near Pierce, Arizona, the Chiricahua Foothills. Uh, this is actually a dessert wine, and it is a big dessert wine. It's a, um, not in terms of bottle size, it's only a 375 milliliter bottle, but it's about 18% alcohol, um, which is one of the biggest dessert wines I've ever encountered in Arizona, and I don't know that much about the history of it, um, or the harvest or the lag time, that sort of thing, um, which is why I'm hoping that Isla will text me back and then I can drag her into this kicking and screaming. Um, okay, not kicking and screaming. So when we last left, uh, we met Druzen, we got some faith, they wanted me to, uh, take care of a barbarian kingdom, the problem is- or they did. Uh, maybe they don't. Um, oh, that's right, because I hit end turn one more time and I tried to, uh, record again and it failed. So I said, eh, okay, I'm gonna drink some wine, got more bad news. Um, and then went out and visited the wineries in town with a friend of mine, who came up, uh, long time- Arizona wine people know, of course, Cami Barnella. Hey, Cami, even though you're not listening to this. Um, so anyway, case with the epilogue. Uh, reading the back here, Kirk Dunham was the winemaker. Uh, just like a good book needs something to pull it all together at the end, so does a great meal. The epilogue is 100% LDV Estate Petite Syrah, aged for 40 months and 50% new American Minnesota oak and 50% neutral oak barrels. This dessert wine is kind of sweet, kind of savory, but just right. 100 cases produced. So, a decent production. Um, production size, but you know, if you're doing smaller bottles, of course, you can produce more. Um, I drank this the other night with some uh, cigars with a uh, friend of mine who, friend of mine slash boss at Passion. Okay, they want me to take care of a barbarian encampment. Which, the problem is, it's on the other side of the ocean, and I don't have sailing yet, so that's going to have to wait. But that's okay, because i got to let these guys heal anyway. Um, but I need to make friends to get more faith to get that Pantheon that much quicker, so that way I can, you know, kill more things. So to speak. So nine turns away from a horse archer there. So anyway, on the nose, this is a really, really wet and very reminiscent of some uh, ruby and tawny ports that I've had over the years. I'm not sure whether this was made Solera style like most traditional ports or not. Again, I wish I really knew. Um, but I've got that sort of, it's got that sort of creamy port smell to it, that high alcohol cedar oak. It, it smells quite pleasant, actually, and it's had a couple days in my fridge to open up since I drank it with my boss a couple days ago. So, let's see here. I don't have nearly enough units to actually take on and take over New York, which is going to be my first goal. Reason being is there's horses right next to it. Again, two more horses rather than four. It's just such a stupid place to sight a city. I don't know why they didn't... Well, probably, I guess, it's too close to Ur. <sighs> that sucks. I really wanted those horses. Well, I guess I gotta make friends or take over Ur. Uh, we'll see what we do. And I need to take over... Oh, there's a barbarian camp there. I'm gonna... I think, uh, send my horse archers that way. Okay... Are you healing, guys? Okay, good, you're healing. No. Okay, you're healed enough to where I'm gonna send you after this barbarian encampment, which is a city-state quest. Oh, bother, I forgot to set the timer again. <laughs> you think one of these days I'd get to it, but uh, clearly you would be wrong. Uh, I guess I'm kind of a a noob. Uh, na, na, na. And there we go. Who are you and what do you want? Oh, my influence Ragusa has decayed where I am almost no longer friends. 
It's okay, they don't really have any resources that I need right now. Besides, that encampment will probably pop up as a city-state quest soon enough. Um... Okay, and Isla says go ahead and give her a call. So we're going to randomly grab Isla to join us here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Call anyway. Yep, I knew they'd target it soon enough. Okay, we're going to be calling Isla and going to be talking a little bit about the epilogue as we go along. Am I from mining anyway? Oh, four turns. Or not. Fine, Isla, be that way. Isla, you were supposed to pick up and we were supposed to talk about the epilogue, but no. Okay, talk to you later, doll. Bye. Next turn. Oh! Marhaban ayyuhal ajami. Ana Hi Arabia! What's up? Haluma ilayya wa haddithni an ibarra. Technically, Abbasids. Nope. I don't have writing or anything that's worthwhile. Oh! Settler? No! Everyone's ahead of me in settlers. I shall have to take over the world! That one's not. So what's the one that Ur wants me to deal with? Burr? Now that's weird. I think I would have sworn it was that one. Is there another one lurking around? Ah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna send you this way anyway. I'm gonna build a settler next to Attila's court because frankly I need more horses somehow somewhere gosh they've already had what the heck okay yeah this is I should have well I guess I'm just not used to 
to Chieftain level. So it's going to be harder, because, obviously. Grumble, 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 grumble. And if you, so help me God, if you guys settle there, I will be sorely irked. Uh, I need that settler from whatever doohickey mabobber thingy. Okay, I'm going to have to build this, I, I guess right here is where I'm going to have to build my next city. It's not where I wanted to build it, but it... Where did the horses go? Oh yeah, but it's got four horses, which is what I need. Um, oh, sure. Oh, really, Ragusa? Come on! Grumble, 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 grumble. On the bright side, um, oh, hooray! I am now allied. I wanted to build a city here, but now I can't. I need sailing, but I need bronze work. Well, I'll do sailing after bronze working. Probably no one else is going to get that camp. Um... At least I would assume. At least that would be my assumption. But then again, I don't trust the Americans. Ha! Huh, neither does the rest of the world. Ayo! I'm not comfortable taking that city on just yet, and we'll expand there eventually, I assume. Okay, I'm going to send you towards New York as well. Okay, I can't build anything there yet. But I am going to build a settler there, I think, next. Mostly because I need more cities, so that way I can build more troops, so that way blah blah blah. Yeah, and then after that, those will probably be the only... Maybe I'll stop at three cities. And eventually, whatever cities I take over, I might... Uh, end up not puppeting in the long run. I'll probably puppet them at first until I've got enough money to just buy a courthouse off the bat. Um, at least that would be my tentative thought. Do do do. How's Arabia for science? I don't know, but. Oh, okay, there's horses here. Maybe... Actually, maybe here would be a good spot for a city. Uh, well, yeah, I did want wine, so probably here would be a, a, a good spot. Oh, there's some gold here. Oh, amber, rather. That, that could be useful. Do, do. Do, 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 
Oh, and Jade. Oh, this would be a good luck. Well, maybe I want to build it right here where this guy is. Well, no, I don't. I won't get the wine that way, and I need the wine because uh, obviously I'm the wine monk. Therefore, I need the wine. Pot equals kettle equals black. Ipso facto and other random Latin words. Okay. Unit needs orders. Who needs orders? Well, I'm gonna. Okay, nothing there. So we got 13 turns until my settler. One more turn until my next policy, but I don't think I'm going to get my settler with my next policy. I've got to go the, um... Uh... The thingamabobber doohickey first. Um... Monument and construction of structures first, if I remember correctly. I just expect I'm wondering if I shouldn't have done tradition. But no, 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 no. I should have probably watched more. What on earth needs more orders? Why are you doing this, you silly, silly thing? Okay, there we go. Thank you, come again. Actually, this probably would be a good place for a city in the long run, I wonder. I mean, I don't need happiness right now, I need... You know... Mobile rocket launchers, essentially. Panama City seeks Russia. Okay, well, where did my scout go? Did my scout... Oh, no, that's right. My scout became the archer. That's right. I remember that now. Yeah, I need... Uh... So... Fifty-four turns until I get that seller. Yeah. What? There are ruins right there that whole friggin' time? <laughs> well then. This looks like it's getting stuck on that. So, glass is desired. We're some tribes now, we're some republic. Oh, no you don't, America. No you don't. They're mine. Mine, I tell you. You know, I've been sitting here with this wine, and I haven't even sipped it. I've been too engrossed in this game, after just talking about the nose. It's got a really rich caramel character. Well, that's, of course, from the American Oak. Um, American Oak kind of provides that vanilla, cedar, caramel type note to it. Um, a little bit of bright cherry, and then black tea and bergamot, almost like an Earl Grey, which is something that I get on most... Um, most Petite Syrah, it's something that to me is fairly normal for that grape. And... Oh! Oh! I think I may have just gotten my Pantheon! Sweet! Too bad I, uh... I won't be anywhere close to getting my, um... religion anytime soon, but I'm not too worried about that. That'll happen when it happens. <sighs> well, it smells a lot better than it did the, the first night, but again, it's had days to open up, and it's still pretty young, all things considered, especially for a dessert wine. Uh, especially also considering how long it aged in barrel, it does need some time. I have some information that may be of use. That's nice. I know you have some information for me, but right now I'm busy. 
Because we're about to found a pantheon, bitches! And... Okay... Sending you towards New York. Oh, it's cool, guys. I'm totally protecting you guys from these barbarians. I'm not planning on attacking you at all. Okay. So let's take a look here. What pantheon should we do? Okay. That could be handy. No. No. Maybe. But I don't know where my iron is. Maybe. No. Well... But it doesn't have tea. And all I have is the hope of wine. No. 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 It's weird. I wonder why that's the connection there. No. God King is always handy, but the problem is it's only one city that yields that bonus. Um... Um, that could be handy. That could be handy. Oh, it's happiness. Hmm. Gosh, none of these really work. And I don't see, of course, the pastoral one, which is what I was hoping for. Arrgh. Hmm, this is tough. It's one production. Well, if I'm gonna do one production, I might as well do this. Uh, I was hoping for something that would give me faith, but whatever. Yes, I will up God of Craftsmen, apparently. Okay. Getting close to be able to take on New York. Where did my... Oh, yeah. Well, I might lose this barbarian. Actually, knowing the freaking Americans are going to take that and... Oh, okay. Who did they declare that they're protecting? Er, okay. Well, whatever. I should declare a few of these, actually. I'll probably declare Jerusalem because Jerusalem is going to be the most useful in terms of faith, because I don't really have that much faith production. Oh, oh, really? There goes my warrior! Frackety frack. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, um... Oh, and... We are nearing, uh... 23 minutes. Now I have nothing that I can use to take that city. Bollocks. Okay, um... Let's see here... I might be able to buy a warrior. Seven turns until that, and plus God knows how many turns until Spearman. I really want to take on the Americans now and early, because they're going to be my biggest rival right now, I think. Um, let's hit the next turn button, and then we'll start again. And there's the timer that I actually set. So we'll wait until this turn plays out.
and then we'll actually drink this wine instead of talking about the nose. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, Petite Syrah, and I'll get into that in the next one. Anyway, till next time, this is the Wine Monk Let's Plays, and in this case, let's drink uh, the 2012 epilogue. 2012 was a weird year for me, but we'll get into that when we get into it in the next turn.